Hey y'all, it's your girl Ashanti Makita back with Down to Earth, better known as DTE. Um, if my phone's a little shaky, it's because I'm in my car, obviously, and I actually wasn't going to um, record this segment or topic or whatever until I got back home, but I thought since I was out, this was actually a perfect topic. So I wanted to talk to every other woman, not necessarily men, because men don't typically get into, I mean, I guess you could, but it for me, this personal experience that I'm about to explain to you guys, for me, it always comes from women. So this is to my ladies, okay? And not to down, I'm not one of those people that believe like, oh, if you're a woman that don't have children, you're not really a woman. I've heard somebody say that stupid shit, and I'm like, okay, what about women that can't have children? Like, so they're not a woman what if they decide they don't want children so they're not a woman like that's a boy you don't have to have children to be a woman so this is not a knock on anyone that doesn't have children this conversation is just about women that do have children because i feel as though women tend to be really hard on other women um and in particular women with children or women that stay home or stay at home mom for a certain amount of time or whatever the case is and from my experience it comes from women. I don't typically hear it from a man. But if you are one of those, this is for you too, okay? I just want to shed light on something because I'm not sure if you all mean any harm when you say the things that you say about women that stay home or women that really are, their life revolves around their children while they're young. But I am a stay-at-home mom just temporarily, okay? So I worked before I had my second daughter um, and I worked was my first daughter so i'm only taking some time off to be with her for a little bit of time in this time that i have been home with my daughter i don't know why people feel as though we don't need breaks i don't know if you think i sit at home all day twiddling in my thumbs and fingers and i just got all the time in the world and you know i got nothing to do i'm just living the good life like i'm rich or something like i'm living like you know atlanta housewives or something because i don't okay and a lot of us stay at home moms we don't we're either cooking we're cleaning we're doing laundry we're taking children to extra activities we're whatever that looks like for you i'm not gonna label it for you that just what i do i'm just gonna talk about me if I'm not cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm doing laundry, I'm folding clothes, I'm taking my daughter back and forth to singing and piano lessons, I'm taking them back and forth to the doctors, I'm getting everything ready, and then even once the children are ready and taken care of, I still have a husband to take care of. And not that my husband can't do for himself, but we're married. So whatever that looks like, I make sure he's taken care of mentally, emotionally, physically, or whatever that looks like. And then I'm tired. Okay, and in case you guys don't realize this statement right here, when you say, hey, Ashanti, yeah, I was thinking you can look this up since you sitting at home all day anyway. Excuse me? Because no, I don't just sit at home all day. No, I'm not here for when you want something done. Uh, whatever the case is, ask me. I don't have a problem with that. But when people automatically assume that, oh, well, since she a stay at home mom, she at home doing shit anyway. So she should have all this free time on her hands. I don't. I truly do not. I didn't have a lot of free time when I worked. The only thing it has done now that I'm not working for this little bit of time is allowed me to be able to focus fully on my household instead of work. But I did them both. I did it while I was pregnant and everything. I have never downed a wife or a mother for being tired. I don't know why you guys think we are, I know to a certain degree, yes, we are superwoman, but I think people have taken that literally to mean that because we are supposed to be nurturers by nature and because you know we carry children and we you know we are able to maintain a household and have a husband and have children and work and do all these things that you guys forgot that we are allowed to be tired we are allowed to take time off okay and every time i mention the few times that i do every so often every few months i'm like oh my god i'm so tired i just need a day out or i just need to think or i need a sitter for just you know a few hours because sometimes i'm like i just need somebody to keep them just for three or four hours i just need some time for me to get back to where i need to be because to be honest if i'm not taking care of my household is not taken care of and ladies you better understand that do not allow people perception to make you kill yourself trying to get everything together and take no time for yourself because the truth of the matter is when you get down and out and you get depressed and you going through things that your family is affected by it so with that being said if you are not very well taken care of no one's very well taken care of so you do need to take time for you and for people who who feel like because stay-at-home moms do stay home that you know they don't get tired or you know you, you've been at home what you need some free time for what you need a sitter for shame on you 
shame on you for thinking that uh, because that mother doesn't work that that mother doesn't get the right to be tired shame on you for thinking because that mother doesn't get paid for what she does that it makes her inadequate of needing some downtime or some time for herself so she can recollect and get herself together emotionally shame on you if you believe that because it's bull I'm staying at home and right now I just left my house. And let me tell you what I did before I left my house to go out. Before I left to go out, I got up at 7 o'clock this morning. I got up. I made sure my oldest was had 8. I took my youngest one, got her all cleaned up because I cleaned her up as soon as she get up. She's in a diaper, so I got to get up. I cleaned her up. I ran to Walmart because my daughter at the last minute said, Mommy, I need a unicorn pajama. Today is pajamas day, unicorn pajama day. Of course, because they're children, they, she didn't tell me ahead of time. So she had to be at school at 9 o'clock. So I got up. I got the baby taken care of first. I made sure my daughter ate. I had everything ready and taken care of. And... I stepped out, went to Walmart, <laughs> got my baby her little pajamas or whatever the case is, came back home, made sure she got her pajamas and everything on. Then I left back out, had to take her to school, and then I came back home. Since I got, once I got back home, I cleaned my house up, washed dishes, and by the time I got everything straightened out, then I took care of me. I went, I got my husband a cup of coffee. I forgot I got my husband a cup of coffee, me and him both, because I drink coffee. And I got us a cup of coffee, came home. I didn't ask my husband to do nothing. Okay, I didn't because this is his first day off. All right, he works. Um, well, actually, it's the second day off, but he he works Sunday through Wednesday, so Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is his days off. So I typically don't bother him. He will help me if I ask, but I'm I'm always on auto mode. Like I have, I know everything that needs to be done, so I do it. And as I'm getting everything done, by the time I was able to actually stop for a second and get myself together that I got up at 7 I didn't wind down to even just get myself together until about 12 30 like straight through straight through whatever it was I was doing folding whatever it is straight through that's what I did all day between getting them ready I came back I fed my, my daughter because I didn't feed the youngest one before I left I fed her once I got back made her something got her full you know I all of that was done and then at 12 30 I said okay now I can get myself together and I got dressed and I was like you know what I need some time for myself because every day it's the same thing I'm doing the same things I'm, I'm constantly to be honest me getting on YouTube is one of the things that allow me to interact with other adults most of my time is at home and I'm with the baby. I'm either goo goo gaga and and doing all the little funny stuff and flipping upside down. She can't talk. Okay. When my oldest get home, we we talk. We go through our thing, and she tells me about her day. She likes to do this thing called TikTok. So uh, that's I, it's actually on my TikTok. It's called mommy and daughter combo. And so I do that with her. Like so, when she gets home, my time goes to hanging out with her. I want to make sure that because I had another child and she's only a year old, that I'm not neglecting my eight year old. So I take time out out to spend with her and make play dates and do things so we do that on the side we have conversations and really by the time my husband get home I make sure that my dinner is cooked and everything there's no time left for me by the time I get to enjoy myself throughout the week it is 9 30 10 o'clock sometimes depending on when my one-year-old decides she really gonna go to sleep because I don't know about the rest of you all and if you have advice I am having the hardest time getting her on to sleep like I I'm doing it but yet she still goes whenever the hell she want to go so it's like between 9 30 to like 10 30 that she'll pass out on me and by that time I'm exhausted like I don't even want any more me time by the time I can have me time I'm too damn tired so if I feel like I want to take some time to myself, if I feel like, you know what, I need a sitter for a few hours, if I need a sitter for a day or overnight, if I want to say, hey, I'm going to take some time out and go out with my girls, I don't see how anybody in their right mind don't understand that. Especially if you're giving it your all. The only parents and moms, I'm sorry, the only moms that are tired and need a break every now and then, only the ones that's giving it they all. It's the moms who are out there. They are, whether they're working or staying home, they're giving it their all. Whatever that looks like, they're teaching. They're, they're doing everything they can to be a good wife, to be a good mother. And to have someone say like, oh, because you a stay-at-home mom, 
Like, you don't get the right to really be tired because you're not doing shit but sitting down all day. It's bull. It's bull. And in case there are people out there, I need you to understand that that's not how it goes. That's that's not how it goes. And if a mother is staying home with her children, she one of the reasons she made that choice to stay home was because she wanted to be a good mom. She wanted to be there, so she decided to take a little bit of loss on money to cherish something bigger than anything. And I would think that ladies will understand that <laughs> more than anybody. That putting your children first is like everything. So if that mother decided, you know, I'm going to hold back on some money to put my child first, how can you knock that? How can you not think that sitting home with a screaming child all day doesn't get tiresome? And then in the midst of that, you don't get the opportunity to be angry. You can't get upset. They're babies. So you are keeping your composure all the time, trying to allow yourself not to get too stressed, allow yourself not to go through postpartum, allow yourself not to get caught up into a depression because your children come first and they can't see me down and out. They can't see me depressed. They can't see this. So you put your armor on and the one time or two times or every now and then or every couple months or even one or two, three times in a month that you decide to say, I need a mental break. It is like you get looked at like, well, you staying home. Everybody needs time off. Even people that work, work Monday through Friday. They got Saturday and Sunday off or they work. They got Tuesday and Wednesday or whatever. Mothers don't get a day off and stay at home. Mothers damn sure don't get days off because at least the mother that's going to work. She may get her time off. It sucks. Her time off is working. Cause then you're like, okay, I'm working. I'm away from children, but you're still working. A stay at home mom don't 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 get time off. I don't I don't get days off. My husband gets Thursday, Friday, Saturday off. I am a mom 365 days. I don't get time off. <laughs> when my children go through something, they want their mother. Not that they don't love their dad, but they want when my children are sick, they don't go sit up under my husband. No, no, no. They want to sit up under me. There is no break. So I be danged that if every now and then a mother decides that she needs a break, it needs to be an issue from either a woman or a male. Even if you got to explain it to your husband, like, look, I know that you think I've been home all day. 